Dan Walker has spoken out on Prince Harry's eagerly awaited new book, admitting he's unsure whether reading them is the right thing to do. Dan Walker, 45, joined in with the public curiosity over Prince Harry's memoir, which publishers yesterday revealed would be titled Spare. The much-anticipated book will tell his story in his own words, and explain in full why he chose to abandon life in the UK and public duties within the royal family to move with Meghan Markle to the USA. Yet some feel uncomfortable about reading the memoir due to its timing, as the date of release, on January 10, will be less than four months after his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, died. BBC Breakfast turned Channel 5 News star Dan Walker is among those questioning the timing of the book, and wondering whether or not it would be appropriate to read it. Intrigued by what you feel about this, he confided to his 777,400 Twitter followers. Will it help? Do you want to read it? Is it the right thing to do? He quizzed. Then he added, timing. I currently can't make my mind up. Many others also seem to be questioning how they should feel regarding Harry's new book, and a flood of Twitter users have come forward to have their say too. At John Tekilovsky quizzed Dan, if somebody published a book about your own family and all the internal politics, arguments, controversies, what would you think about that family member? I think he will come to regret it deeply. Yet at Hanstoffi argued, he's a human being too and has the right to be heard, at Riot Gifts suggested he might buy the book, as it gave the inside story directly from the prince himself, commenting, if I were going to read any book on the royals, it would be written by a royal. So I am more tempted to read this. At Nurse Maiden was more consumed by the name, exclaiming, I think the book title has for me put me off buying and reading. I don't recognize this version of Harry from the one I remember. Meanwhile, at Matthew Mears probed, interested to find out what he's been told behind closed doors to think he's a spare.